Hi everybody, and welcome to this installment of Let's Learn. My name is Tabitha from the education team. I'm a senior content specialist, and over the next 15 minutes or less, I'm gonna be walking you through native integrations. We're not only going to talk about what they are, why you should use them, but we'll dive into them in the platform as well. So let's get started. We're gonna go ahead, we'll talk about our example business that we'll use for this session today, define native integrations, talk about where you can get started, and then jump into the platform. We'll close with some next steps on how you can connect with us further. First off, go ahead, hit that like button, and subscribe to our notifications from our YouTube channel. We wanna keep teaching you exactly things just like this so that you can learn Active Campaign and become an expert in all of the tools that you're gonna be utilizing within the platform. Let's talk about our example business. Our example business is Boone's Bandanas. It's an e-commerce store that sells products for dogs. It's actually named after my dog, but we sell things like Lisa, leashes, harnesses, collars, all those different things. We're also a nonprofit business that donates to animal shelters. So for every bandana you buy, we donate a bandana. We're using all of the functionality with an active campaign, and we're also integrating active campaign with our Shopify store. So it's really fun to explore all the different ways that Boone's Bandanas is using Active Campaign. Today we'll look at all of their native integrations. So let's dive in. What are native integrations? Native integrations allow you to connect your platforms that you're using every single day with Active Campaign directly. You're not using a third party vendor or anything like that to build the bridge between the two platforms. We have created an integration specifically for you and this tool so that they can communicate directly. There are so many different reasons that you'd wanna use native integrations. Not only can you easily sync contact data, you can also use automation triggers and automation actions as a way to communicate and build pathways for your contacts to operate seamlessly between multiple platforms. You can segment contacts then based on the actions that they're taking within these softwares. You can say, well, if Tabitha visited this web page through an automation, I want to translate this information to a pipe drive or a Calendly, or a Google Sheet. You can also effectively manage your pipelines and your customer journeys. If you're utilizing the Active Campaign CRM, this is a really good way for you to start to dive in and really explore all of the different things that you can do with the tools that you're using in Active Campaign. So where do you get started, you ask? I have three things that you can do on your to-do list in order to connect. Your first thing is going to be understanding what tools you're using. What are the tools that you're using in order to successfully run your business? Is Calendly really important to you? Is MindBody super important? Is it important for you to connect your CRM to Active Campaign? Any scheduling systems? Any external form builders? Knowing your tools will help you get started and understand if there's a native integration that exists. Once you find out if the native integration exists, you can start to figure out how you're going to build that bridge. We have lots of articles in our help center that will help walk you through exactly this. Then, now that you have the article pulled up and you're ready to get started, you can begin building. As soon as you build the integration, you'll be ready to go to connect, communicate, and successfully bridge the gap between your two platforms. Let's go ahead, take a look in Active Campaign and see exactly how we can start doing this within the tool. Now that we're in the platform, what we want to do is take an opportunity to really dive into all of the different ways that you can explore what CX apps are best for you. So we'll go ahead and we'll click on our apps tab, which is right above settings in the lower left hand corner. And you can see that it's a breakdown of not only all of your important apps that you've already connected, but organized by newest integrations that we have, popular ones, and then all of the different kinds of apps organized by 
type of software. So if I wanted to see what I already have connected, I can come in here and go to my connected apps. And you can see that I have Slack, Typeform, Pipedrive, and Google Sheets all set up as native integrations. So I'm communicating not only from these platforms to Active Campaign, but from Active Campaign to these platforms. I can explore all of the other apps that I want or things that make the most sense for me, but if I'm unsure how to do it, what I can actually do is toggle over to the website activecampaign.com slash apps and I can start to see all of my native integrations. So if I really am wondering what are the integrations that I can set up that are native to Active Campaign, I can scroll through these and then begin setup right from this page. If I want to click on MindBody as an example, you can see that we walk you through exactly how to do that. Now let's go back into the platform and I want to talk about how you can actually use these actions through automations. What we'll do is we'll go into automations and we can click on any given automation that we want. Let's talk about our community welcome automation. If I want to export to a Google Sheet when somebody submits a form or notify a specific Slack channel, I can do just that. I'll click on the plus sign and I'll go to my CX apps folder. It is here that I can explore all of the different integrations that have automation actions. So I can see things like Bonjourno or using a countdown timer, using click send, using Sakari or Twilio. Maybe I want to go ahead and use my Slack channel integration. Let's click on that and use it as an example. You can see, like I said, my Slack integration is already set up so I can go ahead and press select. I can use this drop down here to select any given channel and then enter the message that I wanna enter right here. And I can even go as far as using personalization tags. So what I can say is, hi sales team, I wanted to let you know that you have a new lead in the community. Please reach out ASAP. Tabitha. So this is the message that I wanna send. Now I can go ahead and press finish. And what you'll see is that becomes a step in my automation. As soon as somebody submits the form, the message goes to Slack. I come into this wait step and then I start getting my emails. So this is more of an internal based action while the rest of the automation is external to the plant process that my contact is taking. Again, I can explore any of these folders and use this drag and drop feature as a way to drag and drop any of my actions into this given automation. So let's explore one more. We'll take a look at Google Sheets. Maybe I want the form information to translate to my Google Sheet as well. I can select any spreadsheet that I want and then what will happen is, if there's certain sheets on that specific spreadsheet, I can go ahead and select any of those as well. So I could type in AOB, I can type in anything that I want, and those different sheets will come up. That will be how I will build my Google Sheets integration. Now you're saying, I'm doing these actions, I'm using these steps within automations, what are some other things that I can do? Well, you can go to your contact section and you can start to use segmentation as a way to understand if you want to push people through these different integrations. So we'll go ahead, we'll click on advanced search, which is where our best place to discover segments is, and we'll click on select a condition. Now you don't have a dedicated native integration folder, but maybe what you want to do is start to build and define segments for contacts that you want to put through an automation that has a native integration action. So if I wanted to look at everybody that has been sent my stocking stuffers to delight campaign, 
find out who those contacts are, what I can do then is use the bulk editor as a way of editing them into an automation and then taking an opportunity to send the Slack message or add to the Google Sheet, or maybe I want to send them some kind of SMS through Twilio. Whatever actions make the most sense for your business. Another opportunity for ways that you can use native integrations in the platform is through your pages. If you're using active campaign pages, you can click on your pages at any time and use some of the integrations that we've set up. One specifically that I'd like to highlight is going to be your PayPal integration. You can drag your PayPal integration anywhere into your pages, click on it, and then start to go through exactly how you can add a PayPal button into your active campaign page. I would encourage you to start to play around with this if this is something that you're looking to utilize. Last but not least, one of the other places in the platform that will allow you to manage native integrations and the actions that come from them in different ways is going to be through your pipelines and the CRM. Maybe once somebody's order gets delivered in my shipping pipeline, I want to send an update somewhere through a native integration. I would say when the deal moves into the delivered stage of the shipping pipeline through an automation, create said native integration step. There's so many different ways that you can get creative with the native integrations that we offer and that you've built within the platform. I would encourage you to explore them, whether it be on the website or internally within your active campaign account. Let's go ahead and talk about some next steps. In your next steps, we highly encourage you to sign up for office hours with my teammate Shiv. He is an excellent resource for asking questions specifically about native integrations, about setting them up, or just about anything within the platform. It's hosted live multiple times a week where you can enter a forum to answer your questions regarding things that are going on in your account or things that you're simply looking to set up. We want you to join our community at any time. Our community is a great place where you can interact with customers just like yourself who might be using native integrations, building native integrations, or wondering what they are. Also, always subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're offering videos just like this to help you onboard with Inactive Campaign and the ways that work the best for you. I thank you so much for joining me today, and I can't wait to see you on our next installment of Let's Learn.